Hey everyone, I'm the Tom and you're on my gaming channel. This is the first video I'm recording, so I want to introduce myself a little bit for those of you who don't know me that well. My name is Tom, I'm 21 and I'm from Austria and I'm currently studying philosophy. And as you may have guessed, I enjoy playing computer games. So today I will be playing Automation. Automation is, or rather will be, a car company tycoon game. I say will be because the tycoon part of the game is not uh, done yet, but you can already uh, build your own engines and do your platform designs and put the engine into the platform and then do your suspension and aerodynamics tuning and all that stuff. So for those of you have, who have already checked out my forum thread about my car designs, you may have noticed that I haven't been active for, well, almost two weeks now. That's because I wanted to include a YouTube video, my first YouTube video for that matter. And let's see, for those of you who already know the Sparrow, I'm gonna show you the new design right away. That should be it. Yeah, that's it. And there we go. Looks pretty aggressive, doesn't it? Alright, and then on the back we got some more oval lights and two exhausts and the wing. Of course the, f the arches are flared and all that stuff, so... Well, and if you want to know how to do this, I'm gonna show you right now because um, I already I still need to rework the Puma which is the saloon version of the Sparrow and I'm gonna do that on camera that's that's gonna be my video there now not the HP um, to cut the boring stuff out I'm gonna delete the section in which I'm uh, I'm just you know deleting old fixtures I don't want so well you, so you don't get bored while watching that all right I'm back so basically I deleted everything but the, the vent the badge and the lip so because I still need the vent I'm gonna rotate them a little bit slightly bigger there That should do it. Let's make this a little bit smaller. And then place a grill like that. The first one in between there. And the patch is on top of that. So, to make those lights you take these circular headlights but the ones with the well, without the blue outlines and then make them as small as possible and then make them a little bit wider like so, so that you get a slight oval shape and we're gonna need five of those and I'll leave the first one right there so I can compare in the size of the other ones to the original one alright that looks pretty neat gonna need three more perfect and then number four that's okay and number five so now I'm gonna rotate them slightly so that the this end of the light will point towards that end of the vent okay the first one and then leave a little bit of space be between between the lights to make it look more mean you know all right that's the third one there we go that's number four and finally number five all right looks pretty solid now um, the the white thing 
you saw the white outline uh, you saw on the sparrow was white indicators obviously and I'm gonna show you how to do that too we basically want to follow this curve first and so we need a very small indicator and basically because it's too big we're gonna we are gonna put it down diagonally always rotate the camera so you can see the bottom edge of the vent because otherwise you find yourself in a position say you put it like there where you normally think the bottom end is and then you rotate it and see well there's plenty of space left so I'm gonna delete this indicator and make a new one make it like so yeah and then when I lead a fairly long and fairly straight one <coughs> Rotate it ever so slightly. And there we go. Stretch it a little bit more. That's better. Alright. Then we're gonna take the next one, make it as thin as possible again and reduce the length and rotate it just a little bit so that it follows this curve oh my god All right. that happens way too often and that the game selects the vent when you actually want to select you know, the light fixture or the indicator or whatever that happens way too often that good now I think that I think that's pretty good now right so now we need the indicator again and further down and put it like so and stretch it again and then we're gonna need one more because I want to speed things up a little bit and make it go from the end of the indicator that we just placed into this corner of the vent rotate it slightly more and then stretch it rotate it just a little bit more and stretch it and we're done. All right, and then it already it already looks very mean, <laughs> I have to say. So we're gonna put this indicator right into the top right corner of the vent, and we're done with with that part. All right, so. Now for the bottom part I'm gonna select these vents, stretch them a little bit and make them lower so that we end up around 91, yeah that's it, put them, no, rotate them like so and then put, put the others like so and stretch them again so that we end up at the same size and flip them oh that's way too big the lower one is way too big way too high and not long enough I should say alright
so that should be it then all right and then we have this grill between those vents and stretch it a little bit and then we get ourselves this indent for the number plate there we go I put some number plate lighting on the side of the number plate there we go and then finally for the front at least we are gonna put some chrome in this big lower grill and place it down in the middle like so and stretch it until you reach the ends of it right that's it for the front and now we're gonna go to the to the back end of it delete the old things obviously that's not gonna take as long as on the front as you can imagine and then we're just gonna delete this and this we leave the exhausts and this indent and also the lip because that's still on the on the new design so the new <coughs> the new design is basically we take one of this one of these vents again like so flip them there we go rotate them and then I think we can lower them a little bit okay and then we take those red circular tail lights make them smaller and then stretch them again to make oval shapes but not too big again because we're gonna place three inside of that vent there's one and making number two there we go rotate it a little bit more that's number two right there and we're gonna need our number three now there we go so that's that's that I would say this needs a little bit more rotation like so then we have a rectangular daylight on the bottom of this arrangement like so and then like so a little bit shorter because we still need the indicator which is going to be oval again all right and uh, don't move it there we go we're gonna make it higher a bit wider not that wide and then rotate it and put it in yeah all right stretch this a little bit more and there we go and what indent did I place between there? I think I just went for this one yeah I think I did and then just reduce the size of the batch and finish it off with some chrome vents alright a little bit thinner and then stretch them and there we go 
that's our new Puma and that's exactly the way I did it on the Sparrow as well and that was my first video it was about automation if you liked it then please comment rate or subscribe and well there's one more thing I want to talk about automation is not the only game I'm going to play because there's lots and lots of um, games that I enjoy playing and you're gonna find a list of the games I want to play in the future in the description of this video. I think that sums it all up and thanks for watching, see you next time.